What do we got? We got some brandy. We do, don't we? Yes, we do. From the fine folks at Boardroom Spirits. You know what I love about this? Speak to me. This is one of those things where someone knocks on your door and says, I've done something horribly wrong. Mm -hmm. Would you like it? And they say, yeah, sure, why not? Uh -huh. So someone made a wine. Yeah. Apparently the wine was almost undrinkable. And right. they knew it was almost undrinkable. Uh -huh. Whatever happened in the process didn't happen correctly. And they uh, had a relationship getting barrels and things from the same people. So they went and sent it to them. And he went, took it, and distilled it. Ran it through and made brandy out of it. Mm. And he made a pretty good brand. Yeah. <laughs> we had this when we were out there visiting. Was it two, three years? Made their pretty good brand. How long was it aged? Uh, I th think he said two years. I, I think so. I can't really remember. Yeah. But this is a one-off. You'll never get it again. Right. Unless maybe right. that same winemaker knocks on the door and says, hey, I made another mistake. Now, sadly, it's, but, I think it's, it's sold out. Yeah. Right? Because they released it that yeah. day. Like, I, I believe they said they had like 250 bottles and they had 200 people on the waiting list to get it. Right. So there probably aren't any bottles of this left. If there are, please, by all means, knock on the door and get, grab one. Now, are you a brandy guy? I do like brandy, again, for the one-off drink, not to drink yeah. something all night long. And I like something like this because I smoke a cigar. So I'm like an old, old man. Really a man from like the 1900s. And again, brandy is just basically yeah. anything made from fruit, right? Yeah. So it could be an apple brandy, like a Calvados. It's a eau de vie or whatever. Eau de vie. Eau de vie. And then it's aged. Right? Yeah. So, does it have to be aged to be brandy? I guess if it's not aged, it's eau de vie. Yeah. If it's, a, if it's aged a little it's bit, it's anyway. It, if it's made in cognac, it's, it's cognac. Yeah. If it's made in Armagnac, yep. it's Armagnac. Yep. If it's, you know, if it's apple brandy from it depends whatever on, region it's yeah, Calvados. Depends on, yeah, it depends on where, uh, where the yeah. fruits are grown. Right. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah, I remember liking it that time. Let's see how it is on the second go-around. And it's 40% ABV. A little sweet on the nose. Maybe a little, little grainy, maybe? Which is, which is what, yeah, a little grainy and a little sweet, which is what kind of you expect with a, a grape-based brandy. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't drink a lot of this stuff, so I don't really know what to expect a lot of times. What I liked about it is it had a little bit of a punch mm. up front. It has a nice finish. It's not overly sweet. No, it's not. Do we remember what kind of barrels they used? They didn't. I don't know if they offered what kind of barrels they had. I know I a lot know. of what they use is uh, New Oak, so I'm not really sure. Right. Well, charred or not whatever. Really sure. Toasted yeah, charred or whatever really sure they're doing. What they do with it. But it's not really used a barrel of something else. I don't think they say on no. the bottle, do they? Let me see. I'm, I'm not going to buy it all. But it, um, oh, it's nice. It's very nice. It's unfortunate this is the one-off they're going to do, and you know they're mm -hmm. probably never going to make brandy again, this kind of brandy anyway. But um, it's certainly very pleasant if you're someone who enjoys a brandy. And your yeah. big snifter and your little silk jacket. It's it's not particularly like, like I get a lot of vanilla mm -hmm. and a little bit of sugar. It's almost got like a whiskey quality to it, yeah. you know, as opposed to like grapey or whiny because I'm not getting that at all. And I think that's what they were kind of shooting for when they distilled it, is yeah. to make something that was more along the lines of a whiskey than like it there's, was. There's a lot of like vanilla yeah. and there's a little bit of like, not a lot of brown sugar. It's not super sweet yeah. at all. No, no. It's pretty dry. Yeah. So, but it's nice. It's got and a good it, finish. It has a little bit of that dryness in the finish. Right. It has a nice longer finish where you get a little bit of burn, a little warmth. Yeah. So you know that it's alcohol. Mm hmm And I, I think it's just a nice, especially this time of year. Right. It's a nice warmer. Yeah. So, I think it, it's, it's good on its own. Yeah. I think it'd make a, make a pretty good cool. cocktail. Yeah, I guess. If know, we didn't have, you know, six more rounds to go, I was going to suggest we make a sidecar. Maybe for the next, uh, the next go round. So we have... Yeah. Nothing to do. I can do that. Brandy Alexander, you know, sidecar. No, sidecar. <laughs> sidecar. Sidecar. I want to do a sidecar. I like a sidecar. You ever have a sidecar? There's, there's, there's a lot to like about a sidecar. I'm opposed to a sidecar. So it's it's brandy, lemon juice, Cointreau. Shake it up. Maybe there's a bone of contention, apparently, whether you sugar the glass or not, sugar the rim of the glass or not. So, however you like it. I'm opposed to a sidecar. Huh? Why? Because my father had terrible experiences with my uncle. Uh -huh. Where my uncle apparently is the only person that can make a sidecar. Ah. And they'd always go out to eat. Uh -huh. And when they went out to eat, he would order a sidecar. And he would and always embarrass everyone. Yeah. And say, no, 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 you didn't make it right. Send it back. 
Mm. You need to make it right, send it back, and then actually go behind the bar and show them how you make it. So them. it's like going out for like Sicilian food with my mother. Yeah, probably very similar. Where right. she's put, she has the apron in her bag and puts it on and goes in the back. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> this is not how you make it out on Chini. Let me show you how to make it out on Chini. So, oh, our Chini. Oh, that'd be uh, nice. Oh, they're good. Do you have any of those laying around? No. No? Sorry. Thanks. Please. Sorry. Sorry. Let me get that drool. I'm just going <laughs> to just dab that for you. Uh, but this, this is very nice. I certainly can see this in a cocktail. Again, it's 40%, so it's not going to over... Um, Influence a cocktail at too high an yeah. ABV, but it's no. very nice. Really By the nice. way, side note. So apparently the sidecar is called the sidecar because, and this is per King Cocktail, Del de Graf. When you pour it into the coupe glass or the coupe glass, whatever it's called, right, there'd be a little bit left over in the shaker. Mm -hmm. You get the little remainder in like a little shot glass on the side. Oh. So it was a sidecar. Oh. That's why it was called the sidecar. When you make it for me, will you give me a little remainder? We could do that. Will there be a remainder? We could is do it that. like remainder furniture? It is like remainder <laughs> future. And have you ever been to Belize? I've never been to Belize. Never been to Belize. So, sir, cheers to you. Cheers, cheers. to Bourbon Spirits.